Now, now I'm just showing you where it is, so... All right? Make sure you sight out of the gun. Don't just run out of there because you're vulnerable. Say I just got tagged a little bit. Again, the lot is to your left. And now just remember, you left your bike to the right of that ramp, that, that, uh, that concrete ramp that I used as a landmark before. Okay, jump back on your bike, go back into the aqueduct, and guess where we're going now to fi fill up our health. You got it, Raboys. I skipped all that crap because you saw it already, and uh, might as well, this time I'm going to grab the bike again, and we'll show you. Oh, here's another suit of armor, by the way, in in the, uh, what do you call it, in the conference area. Look where, they, where I dropped the marker. There, I actually did it in game. I didn't drop that afterwards. Make your left here. This is a very, by the way, I rate this as very difficult. Notice I got rid of all my packages to end that stupid mission. After you've gone a block, make a left onto, into this parking lot to afford you at least some safety because they won't be in the parking lot. Go up the steps, make a U-turn with the bike, and there's the armor right there. This one I would rate a lot harder than the last one only because you're on the street and you're very vulnerable. Nobody will shoot you while you're up here usually because they can't see you. You're out of their line of sight so they won't shoot you. Okay, so I'm just showing you where the lot is. And I screwed up. I apologize. That's where where I put the marker the second time, that's where the suit of armor is. I actually put it a little bit off to the uh, north a little bit. Anyway, we're going to come down. We're going to come down here. Go through the parking lot to afford you the most cover. Back onto the street, you're going sort of, you're, you're going in a serpentine way. See how the streets go? You sort of did a left and a right. Now you're going to do a quick right and a left. It's kind of like going straight. And then you're going to end up right back into the aqueduct where you want to be. Now I'm dropping a marker on the second place, uh, the next place for food that you want to be at. And again, I'm, I'm actually, again, I just inserted this in. That's why the arrow is at a different place. Um, I inserted it into the video late, later on in a subsequent edit. Okay, you're going to take this aqueduct all the way down. This time you're passing, you're going east, so you're passing the pay and spray on your left. I always use that as a landmark, don't ask me why. Um, and right at the bottom of this ramp, you're going to make a U turn. Don't ask me why I went so far. Um, but anyway, you're going to make a U turn. And that's why you don't see the marker on the map again because I dropped it in. Uh, I edited the video. Okay, so there's the pay and spray, and you're gonna have to you're gonna have to fight your way to this particular um to this particular soda machine. All right, so and again, I'm very careful because they're all over the place, and I'm I'm trying not to engage the cops simply because there's enough to worry about without dealing with them. And I just got shot with a rocket launcher. You notice how I jumped to avoid it? It's not enough to just jump. You got to be run it running too. And again, I'm fighting my way. This is, by the way, this soda machine, another one that's totally not worth it. But look at how much armor I'm losing just trying to get at it, you know? It's really annoying. Oh, I just shot at thin air. That's great shooting there, Cairo. All right. Um, okay. You saw where the soda machine is. And now you're going to fight your way back. Okay, so if you need to, that's where you go for the soda machine. But you notice how much how much uh, resistance I'm meeting just trying to get to this just just going to and from that soda machine. I personally don't think it's worth it. I didn't need it any with the health anyway because I was full, but I wanted to show it to you on the video. Okay, so we're going back to the Idlewood section of the um, <laughs> of the aqueduct. I feel like a sewer rat when I'm doing this. I really do. All right, remember how you're leaving the bike at the bottom of this ramp in Idlewood? You remember this one? Uh, this was one of the first ones we got. Okay, and this this time you're going to see I'm going to fight my way to it. Again, right before the, the wall gets really high, you're going to work your way up. Now, notice how here there are a lot of guys, there are a lot of guys I have to fight. Notice how I looked down this way first. There's three sections you're going to fight, guys. The first is the, the, the northern section. Then you're going to you're gonna have that alleyway leading to the armor. And then you've got it, this, this break in the building in the middle here. You're going to fight. You're going to make sure you look down that sight down that way, too. Oh, I just got tagged the rocket. doesn't matter, though, because I'm getting armor anyway. So, And boom, I grabbed the armor. And be careful of the fire. I went, I, I went around to the extreme sides to avoid the fire. And sometimes, again, you have to fight your way back to the bike. But I noticed there was nobody uh, really resisting me. So I just kind of just ran back down there. 
Okay, so anyway, so let's go to the pause map. See how many people I've wasted so far. Go to crimes. And people, you've wasted 486 so far. My highest, by the way, wasn't this particular run. That My highest was 998. And that was pretty cool. And Oh, and just so you know, you always have to reload the save. Otherwise, you'll never know how many kills you have. Uh, whenever I do this, I, I don't save it. Okay? I never save it. You know, I always reload the original save when I want to do this particular challenge. Uh, because it starts me at 1. So actually, you know, I have 1. Uh, whatever my final number is, minus 1. So that, look at all those weapons that they so generously left me. Alright, let's fight our way back to Ganton. The, uh, the circular courtyard again. And I never get tired of this. Just killing everybody in sight. YouTube, unfortunately, compresses the video, so you may not be able to see all these cool kills. But it's, uh, you know, pretty nasty. Oh, I just walked through the fire. I keep forgetting I'm not fireproof because that's not, uh, haven't done fire truck missions on this save. Oh, nice. I got a, I don't know how many kills I got in the last few seconds, but. And. I love getting rocket launched by random pads, but you know what? I killed the guy and I'll take his rocket launcher. And now, by the way, just to show you, this is where the bike spawns, the BMX. I didn't bring the bike up with me. So if you lose your bike and you want to get another one, you've got to just fight your way to it. I'm going to go through the fire here because it doesn't matter. I'm not going to lose too much. And I'm going to go get some more health in a second. So, first thing I'll do is get my armor. Which again is right under this first bridge. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I already got that armor. Forget that. Uh, I'll show you what we're going to go now. You're going to make... Now, by the way, this is very interesting. I want to show you something. There's two suits of armor in that courtyard. In that, there's one there, and then there's one there. The warehouse one where we got already. The one, this one, we haven't. I'm gonna, sh so I want to show you where that is. You make your, your right again. All right, you're gonna make your right. You. And oh, and I, yeah, I skipped through the whole plot. I went. Notice how I went through the um, courtyard. The on the right hand side was the warehouse you went into before. Here you're gonna go onto the left, and you're gonna go into the train yard. Okay, leave the bike here at the um, the southwest part of the entrance, and check this out. Go around these boxes, and look what you got right in this little train. A suit of armor. How cool is that? And again, it's very easy to get to. Now, by this time when I was making this video, I'm up to, I'm up to about six or seven. I, I don't know what, what I'm up, up to exactly, but I started getting bored about this point. I wasn't going for a record. I was making this to do this video. So I actually decided to just tank it right here, but there's only another couple of minutes to go. And boom, just killing everybody in sight. And again... Uh, you, we're coming close to the end of the video, so I actually allowed myself to get wasted um, in a couple, in about a minute or so. But I f first, I'll fight my way out. This is the way you fight your way out. You got to be careful because if you run over somebody with the bike, it'll knock you off. So I'll run back in. There's the bike again. Now, again, th now I'm just basically going to war with everybody on the street. Nothing, no big deal. And again, if I was really serious about continuing this run, like if I wanted to go for a record or something, um, I'd, I'd be going to get food right now. I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't ever continue this with, uh, you know, 25% of my health. Uh, so obviously I just will finish up this run and then uh, check the final stats. And I'm about to get oops, shotgunned. And I'm about to get rocket launched to end this run. And again, if this was a, if I was serious about this run, I'd be I'd get the other suit of armor that's in the warehouse to my left, uh, the first one in here that I showed you. All right. Uh, anyway, thanks again to Brand Braden. This was a great idea you came up with. I call it San Andreas Survivor. And there you have it. My kill total is 626 minus the one I started with.